Hey, me and Jenny are here with Alex Dobson. So, Alex, what are your influences? What are my influences? Um, or who? Who? Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, loads of different people. I like to think that I, I listen to so many different types of music mm -hmm. that it kind of all blends together and makes a sort of, it kind of all comes together, but in a sort of smaller type of way. Like, I like a lot of synth stuff, a lot of pop. Um, a lot of rock stuff and then also a lot of acoustic music which is kind of the sort of stuff that I play mm -hmm. so I like to think I sort of blend all them genres into one and then and then let it out and just just me on stage really mm -hmm. so at all of your gigs do you only uh, play songs that you've actually written or do you do some covers no sometimes I do I think you have to do covers now I think you have to do just throw one in every now and again but I like to try and mix it up a little bit maybe do the covers a little bit differently in a way that mm -hmm. they wouldn't expect so Sort of like if, if I'm gonna do a cover song, it's always with me own slant on it. It would never yeah. be just out and out the so same sort copy. of version. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's like sort of sort of making it your own. Yeah, yeah, song, exactly, a thousand percent. Yeah. Yeah, fantastic. So, um, what's your sort of background? How long have you been performing? How long have you wanted to perform for? Um, I've, I think I always knew when I was little that I wanted to to do music. Um, I think it just took us quite a long time to really actually make that commitment and do it. Um, when, I, when I got to about 14, I decided, 14, 15, I decided I thought I'm going to like really have a good go at doing the guitar. And um, so I started playing and I, I, learned, I learned quite quickly. Um, and then I thought I'm going to have a go at singing. Now I remember when I said I was first going to sing, my parents were like, what are you going to sing? Are you going to sing, seriously? Um, so I'd, I'd done a gig and they were like, they were pretty impressed and then it pretty much went from there. Um, I've been in different bands, but we've kind of disbanded for different reasons. So probably been doing this for kind of the best part of four or five years mm -hmm. now but just maybe not focusing on it all the time with different things going along mm -hmm. but purely solo I've been I've been doing it for probably about about two years yeah. nearly so do you yeah. think are you wanting to stay solo or would you ever consider I think being in another band or? I, I would love to have a band if I'm honest I think mm -hmm. band sounds always sounds great mm -hmm. and it's always you form like a little relationship mm -hmm. but in the same sense bands come with like di other people's commitment and time to practice yeah. and there's, it's, it's a lot more expensive being in a band. The good thing about being by yourself is sometimes you can just rock up, do things your own way and if it goes good you take all the credit for it yeah. as well which is yeah. um, which is always nice but I think getting a band is something that I would look look forward to in the future yeah. but right now I want to just kind of keep developing my sound by myself yeah. and, and right. see how far I can get with it really. Cool. What kind of band do you think you would be in if you were in? What kind of bands were you in before? Um, out and out really sort of indie pop bands mm -hmm. um, wrote a lot of like the, a lot of the songs that I write are uh, they are pop songs I can't really say they're not they're just performed in maybe a sort of like folky acoustic different like a different sort oh, yeah. of way mm -hmm. um, but the sort of bands I used to be in was, was just out and out indie bands really mm -hmm. um, so yeah so, so what have you got coming up now solo like gigs and such at the moment I'm doing I'm taking a lot of time out to write a lot of new stuff I okay. am um, the, I released a, an EP, my first EP last last year, and um, I'm kind of looking to change the sound up a little bit, maybe okay. show a little bit of versatility and stuff, and what the sort of stuff that I can do. Um, so I've been working on on a lot on, on my voice and writing a lot of new stuff, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to go into the studio in May and record some stuff, nice. and then do a big launch night and then festivals and stuff all around the mm -hmm. summer. So mm -hmm. that's that's the plan for the next so few so months, so really. So you're just prepping for pretty much at the moment. It's it's all in the stages of like everything's just written down in a little book and in my head and it's mm -hmm. just got to get, it's just got to be, gotta get it out. yeah, pretty mm -hmm. much, yeah. So when you're writing songs and stuff, do you, do you use it all just from personal experience or do you sometimes just like make up stories and stuff? Um, usually songs, I think for me, they have to be about something that I know. Mm -hmm. I think if, trying to write about some, something you have no idea about is just is near enough impossible. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you try and string words together and it doesn't really sound great or it doesn't mean much to you because it's attached to nothing. Mm -hmm. So I always think if you can attach like your stories or your lyrics to something, mm -hmm. then you always you always produce a better song. But usually what I do is I just, I am, um, I get my phone out and I just like hum and sing things and record and, and I build up a bank of recordings and I'll, I'll listen to them late at night, like usually in bed, and then kind of take the best bits from each and, yeah. and usually that forms together a song. Have you ever have you ever um, been like playing a song, singing it, performing a song that you've mm -hmm. written that's meant something a lot to you and have you sort of felt a bit emotional like, oh God, this is like <laughs> bringing back all my memories. Yeah, there's... Or, um, I, I write a lot about family and um, and friends and relationships and stuff like that. And sometimes you, you explain what a song's about, and 
if it's got a story behind it, if the audience can relate to that story. And um, there's certain times I've played things and told the story beforehand, and, and I've got quite upset about it, and people in the audience have got quite upset. But that's nice to see people relating to what you've wrote. You like that's always a together, that's yeah. always a great feeling. And um, with this being acoustic, sometimes it's quite nice to maybe just come off stage and and get down in the middle of front of everyone at gigs and just play completely completely off mic and stuff and it feels like raw to do it like that and quite natural as well so that's good